Have you attempted NATA this year and you're not happy with your score? Well, this is a video for you. Hey guys, this is architect Nanda for Think Institute of Design. I still remember the time when I attempted NATA and I really wished if I could get one more chance at it. Well, you guys are really lucky. You can have up to three attempts out of which the best score will be chosen. In this video, we'll talk about a few common mistakes that students make while attempting NATA and I'll give you a few tips on how you can avoid those mistakes and you can score better in your next attempt. The first common mistake that students make while attempting NATA is not giving enough practice for drawing section. As you all know, there are three drawing and composition questions in NATA. Don't go in expecting to like show up your talent in the exam. The thing is that you only have 90 minutes to complete these three questions. So it is really important that you take time out of your day and do daily practice of these drawings. There is a pattern of expected questions that you can practice daily. Especially make sure that you do time bound practice. Problem that most students face is not being able to complete the three questions in this 90 minutes. So it's really important that you do time bound practice. The second mistake that students make is not reading the question properly. The NATA drawing section, the questions come with a set of guidelines that is about what sort of colors you should use, what sort of proportion you should give and what sort of perspective you should make. So it's important that you read the questions properly. This is also the area where you should work on your knowledge of design theory. Even if the question doesn't specify to draw in perspective or to draw in scale or to maintain proportions, it's important that you apply these basic design principles to your sketches as well as your compositions. Elements of designs like harmony, repetition, juxtaposition. See, all these terms you should be familiar with so that you can apply it to your drawings and compositions. In this way, you can score maximum out of the drawing section. The third mistake is leaving questions. There are no negative marks in NATA, so it's important that you answer all questions. When it comes to the aptitude part of NATA exam, it comprises of 45 questions out of which 120 marks you can acquire. And it's totally in your hands. For the questions that you are not sure about, you should intelligently pick an answer. Our expert faculty will guide you with techniques on how you can attempt these questions and maximize your score in the aptitude part. The fourth mistake is unutilized time. Often after exam, students come and say they, had, they didn't get enough time for the drawing part. They also come to us and say they had additional time in the aptitude part. So it is important that you have a clear cut plan of how you're going to attempt the aptitude part. You should solve easy questions first, make quick decisions and then take time and solve the difficult questions. The fifth mistake is getting stuck in the examination visualizing. When it comes to the aptitude part of NATA, there are a few visual reasoning questions where students always end up wasting time. This is also a part where you can score easily provided you familiarize about 3D and 2D views. There are a few expected questions like mirror images, folding unfolding, counting questions where you need to know a few tricks in attempting these questions. Here at Think, our faculty will introduce you to such questions as well as train you on how to attempt these questions. Here, we provide NATA crash batches in both offline and online modes. For more information, contact us in the given number. A common misconception among students is that you should practice your 12 standard mathematics for NATA. Well, that is our sixth mistake. When it comes to NATA, the arithmetic part of NATA is about assessing your numerical ability. So basically, it is your 10th level mathematics. The commonly asked questions are based on areas and volumes, speed and distance, work and time. So it is important that you practice these questions as well as learn to answer them with precision. For further guidance in preparing for NATA or to improve your NATA score, join our crash batch.
For more details, contact us at 8086-111-055. If this video was helpful for you, do like, share and subscribe. Also follow us on Instagram for other interesting content about design and architecture. This is Architect Nanda signing off. See you in another video.